Guys, this episode has been a long time coming. After being a graphite guy for the entirety of my fly fishing career, I decided many months ago that I would get my very first fiberglass rod. So let me tell you about it. So this rod was built on a CTS quartz eight foot two weight fiberglass blank. I chose the size and the weight because my typical small stream rod, my TFO is also an eight foot two weight and I just like it and I enjoy it. It is paired with a 150th anniversary hardy flyweight reel. And for line, I use scientific anglers, double taper two weight line. Also, if you are in the market for a rod tube or rod sock, I highly recommend Clear Creek because I got both the tube and the rod sock from them. They were really excellent. Who made my rod? Mark McKenna. This person, when I was on the search for a fiberglass rod posting in Facebook forums, was highly recommended. And I have to say that it didn't disappoint. This rod is absolutely beautiful. At the end of this video, having fished graphite for 10 years, I'm gonna give my assessment of what it's like to fish a fiberglass instead. Uh, but this video wouldn't be a video if fishing wasn't involved. So check out my very first time ever using this rod. Got one, finally. Oh, come on. Yeah, all right. Guys, there he is. Let's let him go. Cool. Got him. <sighs> All right. Oh, man. Ooh. Here we Got him. Got him, got him, got him. Oh, right. Oh, he's shocked. He's shocked. All right. Let's let him go. Ooh. 
that guy he also swallowed the eyes oh not so much ah. Here, that guy <laughs> that one Oh, don't lose it. Hey, I didn't lose it. Alright. Chill, chill, chill. All right, that's the second one out of that hole. I hope it lost the first one. All right. This is a nice sized rookie. Really nice size spooky. Look at this chunk. Nice. All right, let's let him go. Boom. Rainbow. It's upside down, but it's still pretty. Oh, there we go.
Got him. Got him. Oh, I lost him. Oh. All right. Boom. All right. Downsized. I like when the plane comes together. Boom. This guy at the last minute. <laughs> uh. Super tiny rainbow. Oh. oh man. Oh. Look at that guy. What a way to end the day. Oh, nope. Nope, 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 nope. There we go. There we go. There he is, guys. Yeah.
Go right! Look at that guy, y'all. This one is also a nice one. Oh! <sighs> Ooh, hooks out. Easy peasy. Oh! All right. So guys, now it's time to talk about what I think of this rod. And before I do that, one of the things I want to say is, even though I got the hardy fly weight reel, I wish I had gotten one bigger. The balance is a little bit off. And I don't know how much I really care about balance in the first place. My niche is probably medium fast action rods, moderate fast. And so like to do this super slow stuff, uh, I still don't know that I know how to cast it right. And if you look in the video, right, I am either forcing it or like it's jiggling a bunch and uh, I need to get used to this rod. I started off the day with a dry dropper and in my opinion, this rod is really just a dry fly rod. Although for small stream fishing, that's okay because most of the brookies and other wild small fish that I'm gonna catch are going to be on a dry fly. So because it was getting colder, I put it on and then took it off pretty much after I lost it. One of the things I'm really curious about is how full flex rods impact hook sets. Now, in small stream fishing, a lot of the fish are going to like go for your fly and you're not gonna hook them and that's par for the course. But there were some where like I definitely should have. I was using a size 16 parachute for most of the day. I then did downsize to a size 18. I don't know if any of you guys know whether or not the full flex impacts my ability to set the hook. That would be cool information to know. So outside of maybe needing a bigger reel, not being very good at casting it to begin with and uh, wondering about the hook set thing, what do I really think about fiberglass? Uh, as a graphite guy, I gotta say that once I finally got in the groove of casting, it's a really, really nice rod. It's a really, really fun time. It fights fish really, really well. I enjoy that process, especially the second to last brookie I caught, like that really, really big guy. That was a ton of fun to catch him on this rod. Would I recommend people get a fiberglass rod? Well, they say sure, because uh, it's really a different experience. Equally as fun, maybe even a little more fun. So yeah, I might recommend if you're a graphite guy, who's never fished a fiberglass to pick one up, I certainly don't regret it. And uh, if you decide that you want one custom at some point in time, hit up Mark McKenna, because he makes some beautiful rods. Anyway, guys, I hope you take care of yourselves. I hope you be well, and I will see you on the next one.